Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and into another weekly grocery haul. Now this week I did only go to Walmart and I haven't been feeling the greatest so I'm gonna be doing quick and easy meals this week. Um, a lot of processed foods, I know. Don't kill me in the comments, y'all. Um, but that is just the way that it is for this week. We have a busy week, plus I'm just not feeling the greatest so it is what it is. Um, and I did only go to Walmart, but first, before I show you what I picked up, I spent about $75 total, and a lot of that is actually some outfits for the kids, which I will get into here in just a little bit, but I'm going to turn you guys around and show you the haul, but first, if you are new here, please hit that subscribe button before you go, and if you like to watch grocery hauls, please hit that like button. The like button really, really does help channels grow, so if you wouldn't mind doing those two things before you left, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna flip you guys around so we can get into the haul. So like I was saying, um, we're going to be doing some inexpensive, uh, meals this week plus like I said I bought the kids a couple outfits some things were on clearance and we're getting ready to go on a capping trip on the end of May plus if you guys know me um, I have three boys 16 10 and 5 um, and we do mostly athletic wear here in this house but I do every once in a while try to get some really cute outfits in for picture days and things of that nature um, special occasions but for the most part you know my kids are pretty sporty so we do mostly sportswear here and they had a couple things on clearance and it's almost getting to be summertime so I'm going to start stocking up on shorts you guys are going to start seeing that in my hauls um, as well and maybe a JC Penny. let me know if you guys are interested in like a JC Penny haul um, like a clothing haul I'll be more than happy to do that for you especially back to school time anyway we're gonna go ahead and get into the video so first of all I got this box of the roaring waters grape Walmart had these on rollback for like a dollar fifty a box so I went ahead and picked that up um, I don't plan on making hamburger helper this week but these were on sale for like a dollar twelve so I went ahead and picked up two just to have them on hand for quick and easy meals I got some rigatoni because I want to make like some parmesan pasta with like butter and garlic sauce. Um, I don't know if I'll do that this week or if I'll do that um, next week or over the weekend. Jackie has been asking, not the little one calls my middle child whose name is Jack, Jackie. So we kind of all just been calling him that um, just out of habit. Um, but his name is Jack. Uh, but anyway, he's been requesting spaghetti or aka spaghetti is what he calls it so i decided to go ahead that's something quick and easy that i can make um and i can turn like the walmart pasta sauce into homemade pasta sauce with by adding flavors and you know um spices and stuff like that so i went ahead and picked up some perfect pot spaghetti i like these because i don't have to break them in half and then some um, parmesan and romano cheese right there I got some bacon bits for salads. Um, I picked up one of these bacon Caesar salad kits just because I've been feeling like having one. And so I went ahead and picked this up. I will probably just end up taking this to work and eating this at work. I picked up two boxes of the thick and creamy um, macaroni and cheese. Who else is upset that they don't make the cheddar explosion macaroni and cheese anymore? I love the cheddar explosion, explosion macaroni and cheese. This other macaroni and cheese just doesn't do it for me. My kids love macaroni and cheese, and I used to, but they stopped making cheddar explosion as far as I know. At least my store doesn't carry it anymore, and I haven't seen it in a very long time. Anybody out there who can get macaroni and cheese that's the cheddar explosion, let me know. I'll bargain with you to send me some. Um, and then I just picked up a couple cans of green beans, a couple cans of corn, and I always pick up the Great Value Traditional and a Great Value Meat Flavor. I mix these together, adding in my own um, spices to make it taste homemade. And then I picked up some brown sugar and hickory baked beans here. Did you know a half a cup of these is only 150 calories? That's so crazy to me. Anyway, I know they're full of sugar. But um, I've been craving baked beans. 
and and hamburgers so i have hamburgers on hand i did pick up two of these packs of the uh hamburger ground beef hamburger and the little rolly things um for the spaghetti and if i decide to make a hamburger helper i'll have this on hand um the kids have been asking me also for cheese dogs so i went ahead and i said okay because you know i'm not feeling the greatest and this would be a great little meal like on boy scout night or something like that with maybe some baked beans or some corn or the macaroni and cheese however we decide to play it out um the strawberries you guys this is a 32 pound thing of strawberries and it was three something almost four bucks but that's a really good price and they are almost some of them are not ripe yet but they are almost and they smell really good so i went ahead and picked up two pounds instead of the smaller one i normally buy so there's that i got some hamburger buns because like i said we're going to have hamburgers and hot dogs this week hamburgers one night hot dogs one night i got bananas because i eat a banana every single morning and then i picked up a box of texas toast to go with that spaghetti and that's all of the groceries that i bought this week there's a lot of things that i still have on hand like i said it's the last week i mean i probably didn't tell you but on the last week of every single month i try to clean out the stuff that we have in our refrigerator and pantries and cabinets and all that stuff and get rid of all of the things it just helps us waste less food and so that's what we'll be doing this week that's why you only see a small amount of groceries here but the most important things is i picked up for myself and my planner you guys know me um a sharpie and these are the sharpie pens which are my favorite sharpie is um sharpie and the ink joys are my favorite things to write with whether it's at work in my planner whatever i'm doing these are my favorite so i went ahead and picked up these are the 0.8 millimeters um sharpie pens in black and these are the ink joy gel pens and they are what size these are the 0.7 millimeters so we picked up both of those and then uh, my Walmart does not have Happy Planner stuff, but I came across this lonely box of, of these watercolor stickers. So I went ahead and picked this up because I don't have this one. I have no idea if this is new or if it's older. Um, I'm not really in the loop as far as what the new releases and stuff are because I just started using the Happy Planner. I'm in the process of switching over from my A5 to the Happy Planner. So if you guys are interested in those, there will be videos about my Happy Planner and stuff like that. I think we're going to post those on Sundays. We'll see. So there is that. Went ahead and picked those up. Um, and so we're moving along into the little outfits. This one is for the little one. And he's in a size 6, 7. And this was only $4.98. And it's just a little tank top. Um, and my boys really like the color orange so we got that and this one is intended to go with us on the camping trip I don't really like my boys to wear tank tops to school I don't know why that is um, and then we have this little athletic shorts to go along with that I found this little six to seven uh, Spider-Man shirt and it was on clearance guys for three dollars marked down from $6.97 um, so not too bad I bought Jack and Liam both one of those and then this little performance T67 was also marked down to three dollars and you know my kids just wear this kind of stuff um, t-shirts and athletic shorts mostly but these are the dry works shirts that are on clearance right now at walmart oh this is the wrong size bummer this is an 18 jack is in a 14 bummer 14 16 but it's a t-shirt so it's not like it won't fit him it's just a you know perform and these these two things here are going to go on the camping trip as well with us because it'll help them keep them cool and then I also picked up the same set of shorts. See, Jack usually wears 14, 16, and that one's a little bit big. And he actually probably won't fit into this until midway through the summer. But because um, he's like, you know, probably a 12, 14 at this moment. But it does have the drawstrings on the inside so that he can tighten them up and get a little bit longer wear out of them. 
Um, so he got the same shorts as Liam, and then he got this Dry Power um, Russell brand um, little performance. This is, you know, performance t-shirts. Like I said, we do a lot of athletic wear in this house. Even myself, I, you, you know, wear a lot of the athletic shirts with the little capri exercise pants stuff like that and this is the normal size that he should be wearing which is a 14 16 and again this one was marked down to three dollars and it's the same as the other one. Oh, i forgot to tell you this one here was 877 this russell top and then the shorts were 444 so not too bad um walmart has some really really cute uh, clothes coming out like um, fancier looking clothes um, that are coming out on the shelves my Walmart's just now stocking them but they will be coming in handy when school starts you'll see a lot of that stuff I'm gonna start buying them one outfit or two outfits um, the little ones because they don't care about their clothes the big 16 year old he will come I will take him shopping um, personally because he's 16 and 16 year olds don't like what their mom buys them anymore. Anyway guys, that does it for this haul. Like I said, you're seeing about $75 here. Um, this came out of a different budget. So if you added this into all that, it's probably a hundred dollars because this bad boy was like 12 bucks and these are like three or four bucks a piece. But anyway, that does it for this haul. If you guys like these videos, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more clothing haul videos, please give this video a thumbs up. And I hope that every, everybody has a great week. And we will see you guys next week. Have a great weekend. Bye.